Cole there, and that's Mog White here, and I got another Legends of Rune Terror video for you guys today. And today we shall embrace the sodium as we're gonna showcase Talia once again in a different uh, environment right now. I wanted to build a Talia deck that wasn't around Veil vale Temple in Targon because that seems to be, as of right now, by far the best way to play her, really. But I also think that uh, a good stuff mid range uh, Talia deck that maybe is not as snowbally as that but is more consistent is a nice alternative and that's today's deck ladies and gentlemen we get to uh, play a card that i think uh, nobody really has showcased up until now and that is the salt spire so this is a pretty damn fun list it does have its, its limitations though i gotta say but it's a very decent mid-range deck that can uh fight off against a lot of stuff in the meta as of right now and it does it feels really neat it has interaction with vulnerable through unraveled earth you know roiling sands in general generated either by this card or by the rock hopper as we combine that with you know big boy grumpy rock bears and we try to overwhelm the opponent in the mid game as we aim to utilize talia onto the salt spire so how did this deck come to be well like i said i wanted to build another talia deck that wasn't with targon and i was looking around at the landmarks available right uh there's a bit of a problem though with uh the landmark pool right now it's too small and when it comes to Talia, you really want to be aiming for a four mana landmark. You want to be aiming for a landmark that you can play on turn four, so you can curve into Talia on turn five and duplicate it, right? Right now, the best combination is the Veil Temple. Like this allows you to snowball like crazy with Talia. But the thing is, it's not even like the best way to play this deck because right now there's like a billion target decks, but in reality, they're all the same, right? They just change a few cards here and there, but they all have the same exact uh, backbone, which makes it so that Bill Tempo is seen playing a lot of these decks and uh, Shadow Owls versions, Bilgewater versions, you know, Atrocity or uh, Twist of Fate, Boxapus to search out through Crescendum have proven to be more consistent and overall better than Talia Sharima Targon because if you don't draw it into Talia, if you don't do Bill Tempo into Talia, which is incredibly powerful, then your deck is just the worst version of it, right? So that's why I wanted to stay away from Talia from Target, and that's why I wanted to showcase in a different light and in a deck in which she just didn't get outclassed by something that was doing uh, something very similar. So that's why I opted to go with Salt Spire. Salt Spire is the next best thing for Talia. For four mana, it is a landmark that has a very short countdown of two, and it will summon a Grumpy Bear. Initially, this card is very fair. You're paying four mana, and uh, in a couple of turns, you're getting a 5-4. In fact, it's, it's a little bit underwhelming, right? But the thing about Salt Spire is that if you uh, summon four more landmarks this game, when this triggers, you grant the strongest ally plus two plus two. Now we're talking because now all of a sudden for four mana, you're getting a 7-6, right? Uh, even though that can reach a bit of a, a certain level of redundancy because, you know, a 7-6, a 5-5, five, five, a 6-6, six, six, they're kind of the same. You know, they get chump blocked <laughs> uh, if they don't have any keywords on them, right? But... The thing is, with this deck, we're trying to combine these beefy units alongside vulnerable uh, enablers, the Rolling Sands specifically, to get the, the trades that we want and push into the Nexus with these big salty boys. So that's the general consensus here. We have more ways to generate Grumpy Rock Bears, by the way. We have the Desert Naturalist. The Desert Naturalist allows us to uh, curve into a turn 3 Lysandra. I don't know if I worded that correctly, whatever. We play the Sandra turn three, we play uh, Desert Naturalist turn four, and then we uh, destroy the Frozen Thrall, and we generate a Grumpy Rock Bear. As you guys can see, we're playing Lysandra in this deck, but we're not really uh, playing any other sort of like Lysandra synergy. We have no Frozen Thralls, we have no... Uh, what is his name? It's not Vindicator, it's the... Um, what is your name? Inquisitor. The Draclorn Inquisitor. I, I I don't even know what that word means, <laughs> which is why I forget it. But uh like I was saying, um we're not playing those cards because Lysandra uh, has purely a supportive role in this deck. And that is to give us a solid three drop, like a three mana two three with tough is actually better than you think. That spawns a landmark. This allows us to curve into Desert Naturalist really well and also contributes towards our Talia level up and our Salt Spire requirement, right? Our early game is comprised of Ancient Preparations. We have the Rock Copper alongside Preservarium. We have a couple of copies of Ancient Hourglass due to the potential combo with Talia. 
and uh, we have also a couple of three uh, sorry a full set of three sisters which are just amazing and for all you didn't allow us to have uh, just good flexibility and utility depending on on the scenario we have kindly tavern keeper for the aggro matchups as a full set to keep us nice and healthy well fed with this delicious soup blighted ravine for even more health gain and another form of uh, you know, AOE storm control that uh, is a landmark and thus can uh, allow us to work for the level up alongside spare fire. So we have good ways to deal with spread out boar states. We have decent ways to deal with less spread out boar states with bigger units. And generally speaking, we have a strategy that has disruption and has a lot of ways to generate really strong tempo around turns four and five which is what we aim to do with this deck. And that's basically all I got to say. Like I said, there's no Frozen Thrall Synergy because uh, I don't really, I want to prioritize uh, stuff like, you know, Rolling Sands. I want to make sure that I have space for Rolling Sands. Even though you can make an argument for Draculon Inquisitor, the vast majority of the time I want to be destroying my Frozen Thralls with Desert Naturalist, which is why I'm not taking that route. It is more of a Talia deck, way more of a Talia deck than it is a Lysandra deck at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty, you know, fresh, uh, more unique take on a mid-range deck. It's not incredible, but it is definitely competitive. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So without further ado, I'm going to stop talking. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. Have a whole day. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, here we go. Let's see if uh, Talia puts in the work today. Because honestly, today is one of those days in which I just, I cannot get, like, decks to work like it's really weird uh i think i think the metagame today is very specific because I'm, i've been running into a lot of fiora right a lot of fiora and, and a lot of aggro as well so i've been trying to play um like aggro spiders which is pretty good right now but today is just like not the day to play it because it auto loses to fiora right and i've also been trying other decks and i've tanked my rank a lot because it's just like there's no Twisted Fate Fizz today, a ladder, and it's just really weird. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep, um, honestly, this entire hand. This is good. Turn one, Ancient Preparation, Salt Spire with uh, Preservarium. We got the Shape Stone. We need to just uh, search for Talia. It's gotta search for Talia. But yeah, man, it's it's been tough. It's been really tough today. Like, I've been playing well. Like, I've been going back over my games, and I've been, like, legitimately making correct plays, but I've been running into, like, unwinnable, absolutely unwinnable matchups, and my opponent's drawing everything. Like, it, it, it's, been a pretty, <laughs> it's been a frustrating day for Rotera, man, not gonna lie. But uh, hopefully this deck puts in the work. I, I thought about this yesterday night. I really like the... Like, I, I want to find a home for Talia outside of Targon. She's not even that great in Targon to begin with. People are playing other Targon decks. And also, I just don't want to play Targon, to be honest. Dude, do you have to wait, like, 45 minutes to play your one drop? Is that what just... Is that what just happened? I feel like I've been talking forever. I've been recording for two minutes. And Fred here took, like, 20 minutes to play the the Crimson Blood Letter. The fuck, Fred? Are you searching for my stream? Fred, I haven't streamed in months. Waste your time. Alright, Fred, hopefully this time you won't take, you know, 47 minutes to play a 2-drop. Good for you. Good job. You did it. Should I destroy the scar drop? Or should I focus on my Talia game plan? My Talia game plan is um, is neat, but it is lacking. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy that. And I thought there was something good to see. Taking out Scar Grounds is a massive deal when you're facing Vladimir Brom. Uh, by the way, I'm really happy this is a deck. Like, this is actually a deck people play on ladder. Like, that's that's great. Yeah, we prevented a lot of um, a lot of game there.
Nope. Brahm's going down. There's an argument for not attacking with a 2-2, but I really wanted him to block with Braum there. I really wanted to bait him. And now by blocking to that, like my my naturalist. Nothing personal. You should watch this. Now that we're counting down. This is like the second most powerful combo with Talia. Uh, Veil Tempo is still stronger than this, but... Oh, 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 but I guess that's enough to make him cry out, go! Oh! We should do this more often. When? Yeah, man! It's feeling like it's taking me forever today. Okay, I think I found my deck for today's video. <laughs> One that actually wins. Uh, well, as I was saying there, like, I, I, I want to, like, explain, like, or finish what I was going to say there. Basically, uh... Exploring, I mean, I'll explain this in the deck deck anyways, right? But exploring through the card pool, I realized that, you know, the best way to play Talia is to have a strong four mana landmark that you are very keen on duplicating. And right now, the best one in the game is Veil Temple. But the, uh, a strong second is Salt Spire. It's a bit behind, like it's not a close second in my opinion. But it is uh, good enough in the sense that it allows us to, we have like a pretty beefy mid-range sort of list, right? Uh, even though we could use a little bit more interaction to benefit from our uh, our Salt Spires, we do have all, all these like, you know, landmarks that get vulnerable to make use of them, right? So, yeah. I wanted to explain that, uh, but uh, yeah, let's go for another one. Okay. Matchups have been very diverse today. Like, I haven't run into a Swain deck in all day, and it's like, I've ran into two Vladimir Brahms, like... It's a bizarre day in Ranked indeed, but it's nice. It's nice to see people, like, actually, everybody not spamming Twisted Fate Fizz, you know? Like, it's actually... Very pleasant. I'm gonna drop pretty much everything, honestly. Three Sisters is neat, but it's a little bit early for it. Um, I'd rather... Keep Lysandra on curve, because you always win Lysandra. Lysandra into Desert Naturalist looks... Sick. And we can just carry over this mana if we need to. It's fun. This deck is fun, man. This deck is like actually just a cool new type of mid-range style. Like I, I, I really enjoy it. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. We have Shape Stone to counter a potential. Ravenous block me. I could play the Ancient Hourglass. Why not? I can try. Even though Talia is very tempting in that sense. The ice is melting. I'm gonna try. Preserving Lysandra. You will do as I command. And no countdown for this one, which means we're doing this. Right? And I thought there was something good to see. Oh. Okay. Well that got me off guard. We'll keep this Frozen Thrall, like, it's gonna be a while still, but it can definitely... They better watch out for me! <laughs> yeah. It's about time! I think I can justify an attack here. Oh, the doors. 
I'm gonna push for um, for eleven damage. It's fine. Still get six damage in there. Thankfully, priority works well for us there. Ooh. Go, family! All right, Talia. Let's get going, shall we? God damn it. The desert likes you. What if I what if I counter this? Like what else am I trying to counter here? If I counter here eventually. I deal nine damage. Nine damage can mean everything. I'm gonna go with it. I'm actually gonna go with it. As weird as it seems, this 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 right of negation is is too damn valuable. Now we get our grumpy bears. We're doing pretty good here, I think. Uh, obviously, we're we're in you know scary territory, but Sejuani's not really a threat. I don't like Sejuani with Swain. I feel like Lysandra Swain is so much better. Like, what's the what's the purpose of Sejuani in this deck? It's not like this deck enables it that easily. Okay. I mean, I'm passing still. Oh, there's Sejuani. Watch out for quicksand. Stand and fight. Well, look who decided to join us. Mm-hmm. You are welcome. <laughs> Looks like you're stuck. I'm gonna make use of the desert naturalist here and uh, get a grumpy rock bear. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, fish, we're going for the kill. Dragging you here. Throwing some rocks. Yep. Clean. Clean! Winning. Because that's what we're doing, baby. Feels extra good considering the back to back ass whoopings that I've been receiving all day. <laughs> like, I actually, my confidence, my self esteem is resurging. It, it, it's fantastic. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> all right, 16 minutes in. And uh, really liking this deck. Um, I was concerned that Talia outside of Targon would just not be justifiable, but uh, we've really succeeded as a... Like, we're able to utilize the vulnerable keyword alongside our big beefy units, and this is like a... This feels like a more consistent version of, of uh, like a Talia mid-range deck, you know? Because that's the downside of Talia with Vil Temple, right? Consistency. Because when you get that combo, it's insane, but when you don't, it's not as great. 
But with this, we have like really like Lysandra just fits in really well here and just provides us with what we need, like a, a three drop, like a good three drop, well statted with a with tough that generates a landmark, right? Good stuff. Another one. Redolo is playing spiders. Let's see if Redolo has a, a better time playing this archetype than I do, because oh my god. God, man. We got uh, Lysandra into Desert Naturalist. That's amazing. Uh, so that covers that. Um, we draw into more three drops and four drops, though, unfortunately. I, I was really hoping for us to find earlier plays. They're pretty essential, really, in this matchup. Especially if we... I mean, there's always going to be a one drop, right? Oh! What? Nani? Well, it's not like we... Got anything, though. Okay, there's the house spider. All right. I know what lurks in the shadows. You will do as I command. Jeez. Okay. Well, down to 18. Down to 12. 18, I wish. Yikes. I really do wish I could play this into you, but we're facing aggro, so that's... This is not a world we can live in right now. And I thought there was something good to see. So we gotta go, Tempo. I don't know if I can if I can come out of this one. I think we're gonna be taking too much damage this turn. We have to go double, double Tavern Keeper. We healed a bit, but oh, okay, that that Spirit Fire that that could that could change things. We can't do that in, in Rout of Negation, though. Let's talk about your death. Oh, I see you. <laughs> I still die. Don't be an asshole. Um, not really much to say about that game. We we played we played well. Like it's just uh, you know our opponent kind of like nut drew on us, especially after we managed to deal with the first at least, but the second one like was very easily enabled, and we didn't have the uh, the proper interaction for it at the time. 
you know, Blood Ravine would have been a nice draw as well. Spirit Fight. Like, we do have anti storm cards, but we drew we drew them a little bit too late and we took too much damage. I played that same exact deck and I went one and five with it. That deck, the problem with that deck, the issue that I have with it is, is it's a matchup roulette deck. There are games which are winnable and then there are matchups in which you just automatically lose. And uh, man, I, I got I got really unlucky with it today. All right, let's let's try to redeem ourselves. Let's go for another one. Okay, ancient preparations. Three sisters is actually a card that I I could potentially like ancient Arcless as well. I'm gonna look at these three though. They could be useful. But I'd rather find stuff like Rock Hopper. Like I'm, I'm really happy to draw into Rock Hopper. I wanna. One of the things about this deck is that it, it's very. If you curve perfectly, from turns one to five, this deck is really nasty. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. Watch me. The prettier the rose, the softer the. Okay. Fortunately, we don't really have any plays now. We we ran out of landmarks. It's funny. I go. I go. Get some damage on him. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Just gonna play the tavern keeper just to have a three three. Okay, we do have the hourglass. If we if we can draw a double if we can draw another Talia, that'd be neat. We're we're kinda stuck here unfortunately. Uh just because we don't happen to have Ah, this is annoying, dude. Surprise, he's still going for the attacks. I do want to start clearing his board. Fuck. Okay. Better late than never, I guess. Ugh. Ages pass. It's the problem with this deck as well. Like you can run, you can run into some problems. Why? Why are you blocking into? He's Yasuo, which means he must have some ways of. Yeah. My board. It's gonna close up. Ugh. It's gonna close up. Ugh. Witness strength. You cannot fight the cold. It thirty is whatever. Well, oh. oh, he doesn't have ravenous flock. Okay. Come on. 
they should thank you for the king. If I stumble, I'll have the earth to catch me. Or me. My journey won't end until I'm through eating. We're going to end with the Salt Spire. We also have access to Ancient Hourglass as well. We haven't been able to, to, to go for the combo with Talia because we haven't drawn to another Talia, unfortunately. All rocks erode eventually. Some rocks just won't sit still. Secrets hidden by Frost. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, that's a lot of damage, but fortunately, not enough to kill us. We'll see about that. We'll see about that, father. All right, here we go. Salty comeback. Salty comeback time, let's do this. At least he's got like double Noxian Fervor. Oh my god, don't tell me you have not double Noxian Fervor. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Double Noxian Fervor? No. I'm always putting myself in the, like that's the worst possible position. Like, that's the worst pot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that actually does not help us. Okay, so there's a stun there. I mean, if I spirit fire. If I spirit fire, I weaken their, their, like, I preserve this on the board. Because I'd rather preserve spirit fire for my opponent's attack. Oh, even nicer for him. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Never mind. Jesus. Tomorrow, we'll get to make use of these. Down to three. Down to three.
It sucks that it sucks that my 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 Talia attack gets denied by stuns like that. I should have played. Shouldn't have played that. Okay. Ah, that's good. How many Yasuo's have we dealt with? I'll drag you out of there if I have to. One day they're going to get you back, you know. I gotta go with this because that means I threaten like I threaten lethal next turn on open attack with three. Like I don't like whatever he has. He has. Why, why does he kill that? The 2-4. Why not the 5-4? He's already played two concussive palms, but he could have like a bazillion other things. All he needs is one stun, but all he needs is a rack and a sentry as well. Like I, I demand answers by doing it like this. Are these frozen thralls actually gonna matter? <laughs> I don't think so. But I gotta keep uh, I gotta keep Lysandra in hand. Like the more that I can make him, Death is like the wind. always by my side. If he has intimidating roar, he kills me. Brace yourselves. They're grumpy when they wait. I mean, if I can survive this turn, I'm gonna have an army of, you know, grumpies and and frozen thralls and everything. I'm not risking this. And now we play the Sandra. Like threading a needle. The cold creeps in. I mean, all he needs is a stun. Three sisters. That card will make me win the game. And now, we actually remember what I said they weren't gonna matter. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, I level up? <laughs> what? Of course I do. Dude, I wasn't even thinking about that. Cause I, I never level up Lysandra. This I actually leveled up Lysandra in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hell yeah, boy. Embrace the <laughs> That tickles, breath. But a boom. I mean, no, no matter what happens, yeah, we, we have like a billion ways to set up these, <laughs> so we're good.